Hey everybody, welcome to Harry Potter weekday. We did Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what are we on day six? I think we're on day six. This is Saturday. Sabrina and I are in the car, headed down to uh, our pit stop for the night in Georgia. And then from there we're going on to Orlando and we'll be in Orlando Sunday afternoon. Um, and then our plan is, you know, anywho. I thought, you guys know I am obsessed right now with junk journaling. You've seen the Harry Potter. Can you see my mat? This stuff is, um, there's some books. Oh! Uh, Mary Jo and, and Chloe, there's that book I got you that I was telling you about. We'll have to figure out a way to get your address so when I get, when I get back, we'll discuss that more. Um... Anywho, so I thought I'd show you guys what I did today for my Cassie. It's Harry Potter related. Oh, let me show you first before I get do that. If you guys watched yesterday's video, Friday's video, you would see we made wands. And so just to show you guys how they came out, here's how the Slytherin wand came out. And so Sabrina did the, the first paint job on it. I added more brown. And we really really like how the Slytherin one came out and you can see the the gem and so that's for her friend Jack and then I still have to mod podge them and then here's for her, her our her Jack's sister Stella yes I did get brown oh okay I wanted to if I could get it off um so Stella is a Hufflepuff and I added um, some green and yellow to it to give it, a, I just wanted to give them like a woodsy look. And hers is that one I just kind of did spirals on with the glue. But look at how it's got that. And it's all organic, which is nice. You know, no, no wand will ever be the same. And then her gem. And then Cassie's. Here's how the Ravenclaw came out. I had to glued this on upside down. I know. <laughs> and so the Ravenclaw one. And I added light blue and some dark blue. And the brown. And I'll start spinning it so you can see. Just so organic looking. And then I was a bad mommy. I wanted to kind of touch up Sabrina's, and I took away all the bright colors. <laughs> Didn't mean to, but it started to look like mud. I actually like how it ended up turning out, but she wanted to be the bright colors. We do have another little box. Um, I could probably even take this one off. I do have another dowel, so I'm going to just probably let her do another one. I think it came out good. Uh, it still got that organic look. It's still got like the woodsy feel to it. But she wanted those bright colors, so bad mama. Okay, so let me get in. It is Harry Potter related. Uh, I wanted to give Cassie kind of a travel journal of our, so that she could do it for our trip. And um, so this is what I ended up doing. And it's at the beginning stages, so that's why for maybe I'd, I'd kind of take you guys along a little bit on my whatever my thought process was. First off. Uh, this is what I use is the, is the cover of the book. So the book is made out of a fruit by the yard box. So I just basically took it, cut, and so this is what her little travel journal is made out of. Now I'll show you her journal. And I think okay, I'm going to turn the book around first of all. And then I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see. Bring a little more. Bring this a little out. Is that good? There we go. Okay. So this part here, the white part, I was going to make it, like you guys saw the monster purse that I made. So it's a dog toy. It had the crinkly and everything. This white part here. It even still has some in it. 
But when I turn it around, it's the the Daily Prophet. And it says, Harry, you know, so this is the back. It was supposed to be the front. I put it on wrong. I put it on wrong when I glued it together. So I thought, you know what? Okay, we'll take something. We can fix it. So that's when I took this one here, which was another dog toy. <laughs> and um, it's the, the, you know, the bitty bot, the birdie bots. Um, so I cut this part out. And this is so soft because it's a dog toy, so it's all soft. And then this is the Harry Potter is from a DVD. I think it was a DVD box. May have been a VHS box, but I'm not definite. I got some glue on it, but that's okay. So this is the start of her travel journal. As you can see, I did stitch it in, and I'm not the greatest yet on stitching in, but so this is only my third. Yes, my third one that I stitched in. Well, my second that I stitched into the actual binding of the book. My third that I've stitched the signatures. So I'm going to open it. This and Nothing's really in it because, again, it's for her um, to put whatever she wants in it. And so I'm hoping that there's, as you can see, it's got plenty of room for her to add and for it to get fat. So on right here, this is just a page from the, the Harry Potter and the Chamber, not the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone book, the cover, the um, Fruit by the Foot box. And again, this it's already, this was from the DVD, the side panel of the DVD, which is to show you. And here's, uh, this again was part of the, the DVD, and I sewed, it's a mess. But it works and it's they're in there and we'll get better so she can do whatever she wants on here she can write on here she can put the date on here date of the trip whatever she wants to do and then here like i said they're not these you can't fully open it and i'm going to kind of lay it down these are pages from the sorcerer stone book and i'm not going to fold them too much because she can either fold it all the way if she wants which let me do that you can train your pages, and so that's what I've been trying to do with this today, train the pages. So, and she can put pictures, she can put, she can write on it, anything she wants. So these are pages, like I said, from the Sorcerer, that, the Sorcerer Stone book. And you can see where I tore it out of the book for my junk journal that you guys saw. And I won't go, you know, won't go too much into it. And then... There we go. This here is a note card, and it's actually the back of the note card. Didn't realize it when I was sewing it in, but again, not a big deal. She can put a picture, she can put a sticker, she can do whatever she wants there. And then in here it's blank, so she can put notebook paper. I'm thinking about getting her like a little, I have some little notebooks like you get at the Dollar Tree, the little like pocket notebooks, and maybe putting it here, and she can do her writing in there. I haven't really decided yet and this is just some scrapbook paper let's see okay get some scrapbook paper this is an envelope and I put the flap this way so she so anyways it's an envelope <laughs> and so she can you know stick some stick something make it a pocket and stick something in here it's up to whatever she wants to do but it is um Again, some scrap paper, and then right here, she can use this part, the flap. She can put some, oh, sorry. Here's the flap, so she can do whatever she wants there. She can put tags here. She can put her tickets from the Universal. She can put her the room key, you know, anything, anything she wants. Um, you know, here it says, uh, it says, uh, we all scream for ice cream. It's um, scrapbook paper. Maybe she want to put stuff from our um, twosomes dinner in there, maybe a napkin or something. And this is just, and you can see here where I binded the pages. They call them signatures, and you bind them basically into, I binded them into this note card is what I did. So I'm learning, guys. I am learning, I'm learning. 
And then again, there's that one, that, you know, about the ice cream. Here's another envelope that I put in there. I did the same thing. I put it up in upside down. And it says, uh, be yourself, have fun. And this here is just the end of the note card. Which now you see the front of the note card. <laughs> and then again, I went ahead and put some of the Harry Potter paper in there. Or part of the book. And you can see where I binded it together. And I binded every everything to this here. So the three that come signatures are binded to this. And this is binded to the actual spine. So there's the second note card. So the second signature. You can see. It's not very good that, where I binded it. And then here again. She can write do whatever she wants. Um, flap from an envelope. More scrapbook paper. Oh, some more scrapbook paper. Um, more pages from the Harry Potter book. Scrapbook paper. Um, the envelope. These are from the note card. So she can put, again, things in there that she wants. Important things she wants to save. She can write on it here. You can see where I binded it in. So this was the center of the whole book. It's right here. And then, again, more notebook paper, or scrapbook paper, more book pages, scrapbook paper, and an envelope. And the flap was over there. So here's the, I have to open it a little bit. <laughs> the opening of the envelope. The reason you guys see holes is I had punched holes because I was going to put it in that way and it didn't work out. So, you know, I redid. So there's the back of that note card, back of that signature. And again, you can see where I binded it in. And then here's signature number three. And where she can write more stuff. And then I put another note card in that signature. And just again, just kind of put some papers in there. I'm not going to do it a little quickly there. There's that note card, another paper, note card. And here, I didn't glue the top here in case she wanted to put, slide something in there. Now, I have, I have here, it's a dog collar, but it makes a great, I have a Gryffindor one on my book. And so I figured I'd give her this. I have mine on the side of my book for like a handle. I'll put, I'm gonna put you guys. Oh, and you can kind of see how the the you know it had the Daily Prophet and number one, you know Harry Potter, undesirable number one. You guys know the the thing. So let me put you back up. So there are a couple more things I am gonna do to it, but that basically I'm not gonna do too much because it is hers. And I want her to be able to do what she wants in it but i did get this and right now when you put it around the book of course it still has tons of room but as she starts filling it up i think that'll make a good belly band to keep it in place you know she can you know do whatever she wants i know it's a dog collar <laughs> but it was ravenclaw and it works. It works for a band. Um, I have some whew, uh, clips to put in it still for her. I haven't put in there. Which, and then I have um, some of the magnetic bookmarkers. Again, a little bit of a glare. But what I have... And I have this keychain, which I thought about putting here, you know, for the char a charm. But again, I'm not sure on that yet. That's a really, um, this was, again, the Yarnology at, at um, Hobby Lobby, at Hobby Lobby is 50% off this week. Um, also, guys, if you need scissors... 
the in the sewing area the singer and the fiskers are 50 percent off so i got some fabric only scissors so this will and sale will end when this video comes out on saturday so the singer fabric only i never had fabric only scissors and it came with the snip scissors and i want to say this was very normally 20 dollars, so i got it for 10 and then <laughs> this is all getting organized this time guys i'm so want to organize everything and then i got these are just a pair of fisker scissors and they were normally 15 or 14 so i got them for like 750 it's just nice to have a nice pair of scissors i always just buy my scissors at dollar tree but um it was it, it, it was nice anyways so i've got those that i'm thinking about putting in also the dog collar label I mean, it says pet collar, but it's also hairy. So I figured I could put that somewhere in here for her. Maybe on that front right there. I mean, I don't, you know, there's there's all different spots. I'm going to, this came with, um, it's a, came with a ties that you would give Harry Potter ties that were a party favor. Um, and there was one of each house. And I figured I could put this in there for her and she can use it. Maybe I'll put that. I'm not sure where, but again, it's somewhere she could put it. I don't want to put it over that number one profit thing. But again, she could use this as a little pocket to put stuff in here. Things that she, you know, maybe her Ravenclaw tie. I don't know, just whatever she wants. But this is the... The, it's clear on this side, and it's, you know, this one and this side. What I want to kind of do is stick it in, maybe I'll stick it right in the middle of the book and let it hang out a little bit. Again, I'll let her, I think I'll just kind of put it in here, and then she can decide what she wants to do with it. If she wants to put it in, if she wants to put it together, if not. She wants me to do it. She used to scrapbook with me when she was little, so I don't know if she'll feel like it. Um, I just thought this was kind of cool. I could even put it here on the back if I wanted. I could make a tag out of it. Or on this side, you know, we could put just a piece of paper. And then she could write stuff. I have another little part of a DVD. Another little, like, mark. It's like, like a book space and thing. I have this plastic wrap. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to put in it somewhere. Maybe like behind a page just to kind of, you know, decorate something up. I don't know. Just kind of. Just to give it some texture, you know, get some texture to it. And then I also have this that that spider web feel but even that I thought I could put behind this and again it gives you that texture I look at just a different texture texture in the book so that guys is what I've made for my Cassie for our trip kind of a little travel journal oh and then see this too I cut this in half for another little pocket for her Mm. If she wants to keep receipts, you know, just whatever she wants to keep. Um, and so there's that. Well, or if she wants to develop pictures and just keep them in here and not put them in the book, you know, that too, she could do that. So guys, that is my little, kind of what I've been up to. Um, a little thing I made for Cassie. I was going to make one for Sabrina. But I think I was going to give her a little notebook. And have her write in it for me. So I can, you know, have her thoughts. And she'll do it if her sister does it. If Cassie does it, Sabrina will do it. So, oh, that's kind of cool. I just kind of stuck it. Oh, I think I'll leave that. I just stuck it in the back here. And I think what I'll do is I'll get this... Uh, some washi tape here I'll show you. I pull it up a little bit. I really didn't want to cover that part up, but if I put it there, that's the back. I just think the back would probably be the best 
place for it. But I can also find a way maybe to staple it in there. And that way you can still see the part that says the Daily Prophet. I'll figure it out. Because I can also just do this one, the clear one, and put that here in the back. And that way you can still see the Daily Prophet. I'll figure it out. I will. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I hope you're all having a great week. I hope you're having a great weekend wherever you are. And you're being kind to yourself. Take the time to hug yourself. Tell yourself, you know, you guys are all worth it. You guys are all worthy. You guys are all um, special. And I don't mean on the short bus. Um, from my um, the Micah Zoom meeting friends, thank you for letting a 53-year-old woman invade your American Girl doll space and accepting me. Um, thank you to my, you know, all of my subscribers, um, all our subscribers. You guys have been wonderful. Um, our new subscribers, uh, it just amazes us, both of us. <laughs> you find this interesting. I think we're interesting. I do. I really do. And I thought about doing just a mommy only channel. And, but I figured I don't, I don't, I don't think I would have the time for two. I've got, and we've got some American Girl stuff. We've gotten in a couple of shipments, some shipments, some hauls that I just haven't had a chance to, or we haven't had a chance to review and film for you guys yet. I've had a request to um, do an AliExpress, how I find American Girl doll clothes on AliExpress, which I will get out on, hopefully, I'm going to get myself to the end of April. Um, because I don't want to pigeonhole and say, oh yeah, I'll get that out in a week or so, and then I don't, and I would feel bad. So give me till the end of April on that one. And, um, we're excited. We're going on vacation. You guys do something for yourself this weekend. Whatever you do, whether it be a facial from, go, go get a facial mask from the Dollar Tree. Do something for you. And enjoy your weekend, guys. You're great. You're wonderful. You're special. You're, um, be kind. Be kind to each other. This world could really use some kindness right now. And compassion. And just, you know, smile. Smile at a stranger. Uh, guys, we will see you on the flip side. Enjoy our Harry Potter Wizarding World Week. Um, we call it, I call it the Wizarding World Week, even though we're going to Universal, because uh, I have a feeling, you know, that's where we'll be most of the time. Even though we do love that Velocicoaster in Jurassic World. So we will see you all. Keep your fingers crossed we get to ride one of the floats and uh, throw beads. That is, we're really hoping we get to do that. We think that would be awesome. And if we get to, I'll definitely vlog it. Definitely vlog it. I think, I want to vlog as much as I can for y'all. Um, I definitely, um, I, it's so hard to say it because I'm such a Disney person to say get out to Universal Orlando if you can. Um. I don't know if I'm going to let our annual passes expire when they're supposed to expire. I may keep them going. And, um, yeah. So, guys, and again, thank you for everything. Be kind to yourselves, and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye.